Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Today I'm gonna to be sharing my makeup brush must-haves, my essentials. The brushes I feel like if you have these, you can achieve any look. So let's get into this video. This is long overdue, but we're gonna get started with the eyes. And I usually do my eyes first, so I figured I would start with eye brushes. The first brush you wanna get for your eye makeup is a blending brush. I have a few options, but really you only need one good blending brush. And the first one I have here is from Morphe. I will have all of these linked down below if I can find them for you guys. But this is the Morphe 433 uh, 433 brush. I also have another brush from Sigma. This is the Sigma E35 brush. This brush I've had for so many years. It's pink because they used a pink shadow on it recently. But um, yeah, this brush is amazing, great quality. It's definitely one of the highest quality of brushes that I own. And then the last blending brush I have is another one from Morphe. It is the M330. It's a little bit more tapered than the first one I showed you guys, which is this one. If you wanted something that was affordable, I would definitely go with the Morphe brushes. But if you wanted to invest into a good blended brush, I would definitely recommend the Sigma brushes. This brush is really, really nice. The Morphe one can be a little sharp, but it does do a really good job at blending if you wanted something more affordable. So as I said, you only need one of these, but I wanted to show you guys all three. If you're getting into more colorful looks, you may want to have a second one on hand or a third one so you could switch out into different colors. But if you're just getting started, you really just need one blending brush. Next, we're gonna get into eyeshadow shading brushes. So for that, this is the type of brush that I like to use. This one is a Sigma E55 brush. It has a nice curve to it. This type of brush is perfect for applying eyeshadow to your eyelid. You wanna go into the shadow and just press it onto your eyelid using this brush, or you can drag it along your eye. It's the same shape as your crease, which is like the round shape. So it glides really easily and it fits perfectly into your eye eye crease. I also have one from MAC that I cannot find, but I think it's discontinued, so it doesn't really make sense in me sharing it anyway. It's a little smaller than this one. And then I have these two smaller ones. Now these I don't use for eyeshadow typically, but they can be used for eyeshadow. This is a small one from Wet n Wild. And you can see it's the same shape, but it's a lot smaller. And then I have this very tiny one. This one is from Morphe, the M421 brush. Uh, again, it's really tiny, and you can use that as well if you have a smaller eyelid or you wanna be more precise with the color with these types of brushes again you only need one to start out with but if you want to get but if you want to do different colors in your eye look you might want to have a second one on hand just so you could go in and out of different eyeshadow colors so this is the second brush that you would need for an eyeshadow look with these two brushes you can complete pretty much every eyeshadow look out there whenever I do eye makeup I like to blend out the lower lash line and make it nice and smoky so to do that I use another blending brush but I like something smaller because that area is so tiny it's not as much space as my eyelids so I go in with a brush like this size this one is from makeup geek and it's the makeup oh no it's not oh sorry <laughs> this one is from Morphe it's the Morphe e17 brush and I have one like this from makeup geek as well which is really really good but I don't know where it is I will link it down below as well the makeup geek one is better quality than this one but they're both really good and they do get the job done if you used a big brush like this you would get eyeshadow everywhere and it's just so much easier to use a smaller brush which makes it so much easier you can also use this on your eyelid if you want it to be more precise with the color like if you were using a black and you didn't want it to get everywhere you can use a smaller brush like this as well on your eyelid so that's a this brush is definitely like a multi-purpose um, eye brush also if you wanted to use a sparkly eyeshadow in your inner corner you can use a brush like this as well the next brush for the lower lash line is a brush that looks like this this is a short shader brush and this one is from Sigma it is the E20 brush from Sigma and this is the brush I use to use um, darker shades on my lower lash line I usually use a brush like this to add a darker shade like a black or a dark brown and I usually add that shade really close to my waterline so this type of brush is perfect because it's so tiny and it fits really nicely and it does add it does blend a little bit as well so I usually wiggle it and blend out that shadow to make it really nice and smoky so this is what I use for that step and I highly recommend this type of brush if you're gonna use if you're gonna do that makeup step and I think you should definitely try it out if you don't it definitely adds a whole nother look to your makeup plugs and it can seem intimidating but if you use these two brushes it will not be intimidating because they're the perfect size for that 
um, makeup step. The next eye brush and the last eye brush I would recommend for starting out would be this type of brush, which is a pencil brush. You don't need it, but it can definitely be useful. Some of the things I do with this is add a highlight in my inner corner with this brush. It's such a perfect size. This particular one is from ColourPop. It's the E10 from ColourPop, but Sigma has one, um, uh, Morphe, everyone has one. So you can just get one that works for you. With this type of brush, I don't feel like you need an expensive one because honestly, like you just put an eyeshadow in your inner corner with it, or you might want to just pat a little um, highlight color on your eyelid. If you were to use this um, on your lower lash line as I would with this one, then I would say get one that's more of a quality because you can use this pencil brush as well for your lower lash line to smoke it out instead of a brush like this. So you can use that brush for that purpose in case you were curious or whatever. <laughs> um, a lot of brushes are multi-use. You can use them for whatever you want and you can find different unique um, ways to use brushes. So don't feel like limited. Don't feel like you have to use a brush for what it says it's for. You can use it for anything that you feel like it's good for. Next, I have two brushes that I use for my eye brows I typically use a brow pencil so I don't use an eyebrow brush to fill in my brows but if I did use a brush it would be an angled brush I don't know if I have one on me let me see okay it would be an angled brush like this but the eyebrow version this is an eyeshadow angle brush it's not as stiff as the brow one so I would get an eyebrow brush if I were using a brow powder or a pomade or something like that for my brows like I said I usually use a pencil so I don't use these type of brushes but if you were to do your brows you would need a brush like this but for brows before I move on to brows I also wanted to mention this is another type of brush you can use to smoke out your lower lash line in place of this brush you can use this one this one is this one is also from Sigma is the Sigma e15 it's a flat definer brush I've also seen this brush used to contour noses to um, line your eyebrows you can use this for so many things but it's not like a basic necessity so I didn't want to really mention it but this is another brush I would recommend if you were looking to add more into your collection okay moving on to brows so after you've done your brows and you want to clean them up what I like to use is this brush from Mac and this is the Mac um oh I can't even read this this brush is so old <laughs> I I have to find it I think it says 155 but I'm not sure so I have to find it and link it for you guys but this is what it looks like it fits perfectly under my brow and it carves it out really nicely I saw someone using this at Mac one day when I was walking by Macy's and I just got it because I was like, this is perfect. I saw someone doing someone else's makeup at MAC using this brush for the brows and I, I was sold. I didn't, they didn't even talk to me. They didn't even know I saw them, but I did see them and I got it. So this brush is perfect for the brows. And I also use this one sometimes. This is a wet and wild one. It's a lot thinner, skinnier, but it's the same concept um if you want it to be more precise with your brow you can use this one as well from wet and wild and it's super affordable it's kind of hard to find i think i had to scout like three different stores to find this but i did find it at walmart eventually so um yeah definitely check out walmart for wet and wild brushes because they seem to have a wider variety than like um cvs or walgreens so so yeah these are my so these are my brow brush recommendations so that's pretty much all the brushes that I would recommend for the eyes if you were starting out and you wanted to know which ones to get next I want to talk about face for the face I don't typically use a brush for foundation I usually use a beauty blender or a beauty sponge for my foundation but if I were to use a brush it would be something that's compact and wide and dense something like this is perfect this one is from Il Maquillage it is the foundation blending brush number 100 but Sigma has brushes like this Morphe has brushes like this this, but make sure it is very compact and dense but still a little movable and I think it's perfect for applying liquid foundation or a stick foundation so this is one of the brushes I would recommend if you would if you wanted to use a brush for your foundation definitely get something like this I like the ones with the rounded um, surface and not like completely flat across so yeah the next face brush would be a powder brush and I love using these for my face powders so this is the one is from Colourpop when I say powder I mean foundation powder not necessarily like a setting powder for my setting powders I typically use a beauty blender or a sponge to push them in once I'm dusting them off I use a brush like this and if I wanted to use a face powder like my makeup forever one or my um, Charlotte Tilbury powder that's not um, a loose powder I use a brush like this I go into the powder and I press it into my skin 
in or I lightly buff it in and these brushes are perfect this one is from Colourpop it's the F1 I have so many of these this one is from BH Cosmetics I love it you can get this brush in a really nice set at Ulta but you guys um, DM'd me about this set recently and yeah this set is amazing I've also seen people use this to do bronzer I personally wouldn't because my face I feel like it's not that like not big enough for that but I would definitely I could definitely see someone using that for bronzer I typically use the same style of brush for contouring bronzing and blush and it's an angled brush this particular one is from the BH cosmetics set that I mentioned but I have one like this that I like using for blush contouring and bronze in my face it's a slight angle brush and in the past these were only marketed for blush but I've seen more recently they've been, they've been marketed for contouring bronzing because they're just the perfect shape to get into your cheek area and get that job done I also have this one from Sigma and this is the Sigma F40 I just washed it so it looks really clean but it was so dirty girl like it was brown it was, it was completely dirty but this one is perfect as well and I've had this brush for so many years and it's a great quality so these are these are the types of brushes I like to use for brush for brush contour and bronzer I literally use them for all three I also use this blush brush as well sometimes it's from real techniques and real techniques has great brushes they are available at the drugstore Walmart wherever but and their quality is amazing so do not don't sleep on real techniques and also Sonia Kashuk I don't have too many brushes from her I used to at some point but eventually they got old I threw them out but her brushes are also really good so if you're looking for something at the drugstore real techniques um, Sonia Kashuk Kashuk at Target and um, Wet n Wild also has some good ones here and there. Elf also, I'm like going through the list in my head, Elf and NYX also have good brushes if you're looking for something at the drugstore. The only other brush that I typically use is a highlighting brush to highlight my face and that can change from day to day but the one that I always go back to is this one from, this one from Morphe. This is actually a eyeshadow blending brush I believe but it's so soft and bendable that I feel like it works perfectly for highlighting. It's the Morphe M531 and yeah this is what I typically use for highlight It's the perfect size for highlighting my cheek sometimes I use a fan brush it's very rare but sometimes you will catch me using a fan brush when I feel like being extra I don't know um, this fan brush is from Sigma it's the Sigma Strobin fan F42 and fan brushes are actually meant for highlighting but I feel like Originally highlighting was not done the way it is done now or at least like the way it was done a year or two ago Because I feel like highlighting is kind of like dying down a bit I still love a good highlight, but it was getting crazy. It was getting out of control Another highlighting brush I use from time to time is this one from real techniques and this is called the setting brush I think this is meant to set your concealer like under your eye But I usually use this for highlighting my face I feel like it fits perfectly on my cheek as well and it's a nice smooth bendable brush and I think it just does a great job at um, blending out highlighters so this is another brush that I use for highlighters sometimes these are the brushes I would recommend to you guys for a beginner if you're starting out and if you wanted to know which brushes to go for these are the ones I would definitely recommend if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions you can leave them down below in the comment section everything else that I do in my makeup routine I usually use a sponge for so setting powder um, foundation concealer I usually use a sponge but you can use brushes for these steps as well and the brush i would use for those steps would be the foundation one that i recommended anyways that is it for the video i hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up on this video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye